Hey guys, in today's video, I will be doing a tropical discussion of sorts and talk about how the Atlantic hurricane season has gone thus far up to this point, how active it has been up to this point, and then I'll show you what we should expect moving from now through October. I'll show you from now and what it looks like for how the Atlantic Basin will be shaping up for tropical activity um, between now and uh, the end of October. So uh, first of all, um, I'm showing you the um, season summary map of all of the tracks of all of the systems we've had thus far. And you can see that um, we've had tons and tons of activity. Most activity has gone towards the Gulf Coast, and especially in the earlier part of the season, a lot of activity went towards the East Coast. And you can see we've had a good amount of travel systems um, form or begin to form in the MDR, and some systems form in the Caribbean. And um, we've seen tons and tons of activity, which then brings us now to the next slide. This shows us the total amount of activity we've seen thus far this season, and then of course the total amount of fatalities we've seen, seen total this season, and total damage we've seen so far this season. You can see we've had a total of 24 depressions, 23 total storms, 8 hurricanes, and 2 major hurricanes. Now, in terms of the total amount of named storms we've seen, it's just been insane, just uh, honestly unprecedented. And, and that has, especially that part, has especially put us to the point where we are right behind 2005 for the second most active Atlantic hurricane season on record. Um, so uh, that just goes to show how at this point where we have still another um, two and a half months or so left of the hurricane season, that we're still going to most likely experience a good amount of activity still. And so these numbers will just continue to go up. Now in terms of total hurricanes and major hurricanes, we're slightly above average, um, very slightly above average for total hurricanes and right around average for total major hurricanes at this point. But uh, now, um, of course, this next so slide shows us the total amount of activity we've seen thus far this season. You can see we started back in May with Arthur, and we've just had continuous amounts of activity form more or less one after the other. Um, very consistently up until we got to around the middle of to the end of uh, August up through now where activity really ramped up as we entered the true peak of the season where we saw non-stop activity just continue to form and be named and that's how up to this point we've gone through now the beginning of the Greek alphabet um, and we've gone through already alpha and beta in the Greek alphabet next name on the list is gamma so we are definitely well on par to get to the 2005 level of amount of total storms, uh, st total storm activity, total name storm activity, and then potentially as well, of course, be 2005 at some point. Most likely right now I'm thinking um, around the, um, getting towards around the end of oct October, we could expect around that time frame to officially be 2005. Now, um, we're, we're going to look at now the CFS model for um, looking at the MJO phase to see if the Atlantic, between now and the end of October, how conducive it will be for the total amount of tropical development um, that we'll see uh, for this season. Um, so as of right now, uh, if I zoom this in a bit so you guys can see this a little better, you can see that uh, this is from today, September 23rd through October 3rd. Um, or, uh, no. Wait. This is from September 23rd through September 30th, sorry. Uh, this is from September 23rd to September 30th. This is, this is the first week, so you can see the Atlantic is in a sinking air phase entirely. In the entire Atlantic, we're in a pretty decent amount of sinking um, phase of the MJO, which uh, leads to much less conducive uh, environment for tropical development. Um, but then, as you can see, as we head towards September 30th to October 7th, so getting from the very, very end of, uh, of September, the very last uh, day or two of September, and then entering the very beginnings of October, beginning, beginning days of October, the Atlantic will totally switch and will have a big amount of conducive activity, a rising phase of the MJO, 
from the Eastern Pacific up all the way through a majority, pretty much all of the Atlantic Basin, and especially all of uh, the tropical Atlantic Basin where most tropical activity forms. So looks like um, going, uh, we have pretty much uh, a nice little bit of a break between all this extreme activity we've seen, especially over the last month. Um, we'll have about a week or so break before it seems activity could likely really pick back up again. And then as we get towards um, September, uh, sorry, October 7th through October 14th, you can see there's still a big amount of conducive rising MJO phase in the Atlantic. And that also um, covers Africa. In fact, even um, getting towards September 30th and October 7th, um, going to uh, towards the middle of next week into that following week, um, the rising MJO phase also starts to get into Africa again, so that will really help to um, give us a lot more potentially of so a little bit more of Africa disturbances in Africa, Africa tropical systems um, before we really enter the phase of the Atlantic where tropical activity will mainly be focused more towards um, to what we call homegrown systems where tropical activity forms more in the Caribbean, the Gulf, off the East Coast, and um, so uh, that'll be very, very interesting to watch. Now, as we head towards, uh, this is um, between October 7th to 14th here, and then as we head towards October 14th through the 21st, the CFS has us going back into a sinking phase of the MGO, so we could really see the activity start to um, really die off after we get through about mid-October. Um, so that would definitely be a good thing, especially... Um, as we get to, uh, since that is starting to get towards around the time where we really, of course, generally see the tropical activity really decrease, um, getting towards the end of October and in, into November, because November is the last full month of the hurricane season where uh, the Atlantic hurricane season typically ends on uh, November 30th. So um, that uh, is a signal that we could be uh, seeing um, the Atlantic hurricane season and on a much quieter, quieter note than we might expect. But uh, we could see one last big jump in activity for the Atlantic hurricane season before we start to see it come to an end, um, eventually start to see it come to an end. So, um, and uh, uh, one other thing that I want to show you that kind of proves, uh, a bit proves this um, in a way, if we look at the GFS model, we go to the North Atlantic and switch it to the precipitation, uh, you can see that, let me bring this back to, let me bring this back to around our, um, around our 204. You can see there's lots of precipitation. There's not, um, it's not signaling any actual travel activity forming yet. Um, around our 204, this is by Friday, October 2nd. Um, but as we head forward in time, you can see there's a bunch of, lots of precipitation, lots of moisture in the Caribbean, getting towards the very southern mouth of the Gulf. Off the east coast, we see still some fronts and precipitation there. Um, but then as we get towards October 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, you can see the GFS starts to indicate that there could be some tropical develop, uh, development actually starting to occur once again as we head towards the very beginnings of October. And you can see it even shows the potential maybe of some waves still coming off of Africa and still potentially would need to be monitored for some tropical development. But um, it looks like we'll mainly really, of course, now once we're into October now, um, we'll really have to focus on um, tropical developments forming in the Caribbean, especially the Western Caribbean, the Gulf, and generally around the U.S., off the East Coast, the subtropics. So um, that's uh, where we're really going to have to shift our focus to um, the potential of tropical development going through the very ending um, months of the hurricane season. So um, that's uh, it for today's video, guys. Really hope you enjoyed. Really hope you found this really informative, helpful. Um, and if you did enjoy this video, please consider liking, commenting. If you're a first-time viewer and you, especially if you're, if you're a first-time viewer and you're checking out this video and my channel for the first time, if you like this kind of um, uh, content, I do tons of this kind of content on my channel. So please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.